कंपेरिजन बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल एंड मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू इक्वल एंड अपोजिट चार्जेस सेपरेट बाय सम स्मॉल डिस्टेंस डी सो हियर वी कंसिडर इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल सिचुएटेड ऑन जेड एक्सिस एंड वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द पोटेंशियल एट पॉइंट पी and with the help of potential we can determine the electric field intensity e by a relation that is e vector equals to minus gradient of v and to get the potential we take a distance vector r1 with respect to plus q and distance vector r2 with respect to minus q and there is a position vector r that is the center of this electric dipole towards point p and here we consider point p at a large distance as compared to distance between plus q and minus q so according to this condition as the point p is at a large distance that tends to infinity all the lines r1 r and r2 are seems to be parallel to each other so here we take a perpendicular that is drawn from plus q on to line r2 and in case of electric dipole we consider a spherical coordinate system spherical coordinate system r theta and phi here the position vector r makes an angle theta with respect to z axis now after draw perpendicular from plus q on to a line r2 we get a right angle triangle that is triangle abc since the lines are parallel to each other and line r make angle theta with respect to z axis also r2 makes angle theta with respect to z axis now we take a right angle triangle abc from here the base bc can be written as d cos theta now we can write r2 equals to r1 plus d cos theta and r2 minus r1 is equals to d cos theta so with the help of these arrangement we can determine potential the formula of potential is q into d cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon not r square where q into d is called electric dipole denoted by small p so the potential is p cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon not r square and in place of p cos theta we can write p vector dot unit vector r here we consider a unit vector r along position vector r and with the help of potential we can determine electric field intensity e so electric field intensity for electric dipole is equals to p upon 4 pi epsilon not r q within bracket 2 cos theta unit vector r plus sin theta unit vector theta here p is the magnitude of the electric dipole that is q into d so this is about the electric dipole in electrostatic now we talk about the magnetic dipole in magnetostatic magnetic dipole is a current carrying loop as shown in figure here the current carrying loop having a magnetic dipole that is determined by the right hand thumb rule the thumb de denotes the direction of the magnetic dipole and this current carrying loop is equivalent to a magnetic dipole having pair of magnetic charge plus qm and minus qm separate by some small distance d here also we have to determine the potential at point p but here the potential is magnetic vector potential denoted by capital a vector and with the help of a vector we can determine the magnetic flux density b vector with the help of relation that is b vector equals to curl of a vector so here we consider a magnetic dipole that is in the form of current carrying loop situated on xy plane and at point p we have to determine the magnetic vector potential a vector and to determine the magnetic vector potential that is a vector we use a comparison with respect to potential due to electric dipole now 
as we see that the potential in case of electric dipole is p vector dot unit vector r upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square here there is a dot product of p vector and unit vector r so in case of magnetic vector potential we take a cross product of magnetic dipole that is small m vector and unit vector r also we note a point in case of potential due to electric dipole the constant that is epsilon naught is inversely proportional but in case of magnetic vector potential the constant mu naught is directly proportional so we take a a vector equals to mu naught m vector cross unit vector r upon 4 pi r square so we simply take a comparison to determine the a vector with the help of potential due to electric dipole in electric dipole the potential having a dot product of p vector and unit vector r but in case of magnetic dipole the magnetic vector potential having a cross product of m vector and unit vector r and here the magnetic dipole is denoted by small m vector and it is equals to product of current into area of a loop that is pi a square and there is a direction of this magnetic dipole moment that is towards z axis that is determined by the right hand thumb rule and to determine the magnetic flux density b vector we use a relation that is b vector equals to curl of a vector so by taking a curl of a vector we can get magnetic flux density b vector and this can also obtained by comparison with electric dipole so we see that the electric field intensity due to electric dipole is p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r q within bracket 2 cos theta unit vector r plus sin theta unit vector theta so in place of p we can use m that is magnetic dipole and the constant epsilon naught is inversely proportional in case of electric dipole and in case of magnetic dipole the constant mu naught is directly proportional so b vector can easily written by comparison and it is equals to mu naught m upon 4 pi r cube within bracket 2 cos theta unit vector r plus sin theta unit vector theta so this is about comparison of electric dipole and magnetic dipole